Welcome to the Coffee Truck Podcast, Episode 4. I'm your host, Paul Ragusa, and today I've got co-owner, co-founder, Casey Lindsay. Hey, what's going on? It's good to be here. So, we wanted to collectively create a conversational podcast episode. Uh, we want to do a lot more of these, too, because last, was that last week? That was two weeks ago. I think it's, been, election two, I think week, it's right? been two weeks, man. Because that was or election three. Tuesday, election day. Not, not last oh, Tuesday, yeah. long before. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, two weeks. And uh, you see how it, how it rolls out. is It's about three or four weeks. If, if, two weeks before election day, we're thinking, like, what are some ideas that we can go, um, you know, some ideas to take the, the coffee truck to and, and maybe, you know, try to grow some more. And I came with this idea, well, why don't we go bring the truck to the, the voting polls and see if we can inspire people to get out here and vote. Maybe we can give them like a, a um, at first we we're like, maybe we can incentivize the situation. And we all like agreed, like, let's get out there and park out there at the voting polls. So Sarah, uh, the other co-founder, she uh, followed through with this. She like called like the voting poll people and got it approved and like got it approved by like I can't, different. Yeah, uh-huh. I can't remember all the people she had to call she had to call like the state though and then they yeah. had to call like some other thing it was like a bunch of like tape like red tape like and they, everybody said cool like even the location was like yeah that's good yeah so the, it was held at a church right right so I mean we got the church's approval mm-hmm. to go do it to set up out there everybody was on board and um, Casey Casey was out there he got truck out there to the running poles and he was like texting me, texting all of us, like, man, this is like, I'm getting some awkward vibes. Like, this does not feel right. And uh, I'm gonna let Casey kind of take over the story from here and explain what he was seeing and what was happening. So, yeah, kick off. So, I, I roll up maybe, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe 30 minutes after the poll station is open. It's already busy, like, there's already people moving in and out. So, I pull up uh, the truck up on the grass and start setting it up. Uh, uh, I think I find the lady who uh, we had talked to or coordinated with that said I could come set up and she was like hey she said hi and I let her know I was here and I uh, got set up and everything I threw my uh, coffee flag up we got a big yellow uh, flag that says coffee you know a little coffee shop little, on it the feather flags so yeah, tall, yeah the windless flags, flags yeah. yeah so I threw that up started doing coffee and I think like one of the first ladies that came up to me was like she was like, she ordered her coffee. She was like, can I, I like a latte or something. And then she was like, you know, I pulled up and I saw your flag and the sun was in my eyes. So I couldn't really see. And I said, you can't do that. <laughs> and I, I didn't really know what was going on. So <clears throat> she, she had already ordered her coffee. So I, I like smiled and nodded and I was like, what? <laughs> what do you like, mean? What are you, like, oh. what are you talking about? Can't I was like, no. I, like, I said, no, we have like, we, we were approved. We, got like, we, had, we made sure. We I didn't want to step on anybody's toes, you know? And she was like, oh yeah, yeah, I get that. And she's like, I was mistaken anyway. And I was like, so confused. I was like, whatever. And then some like other lady came out and like yelled at me for parking on the grass. And I was like, oh, well, you know, this is where they asked me to park. And right. she was like, right. and she was like, well, I, some of the members are just mad that you had to park on the grass. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, uh, I mean, I can move it if you want or whatever. I ended up moving my Jeep off the grass to make right. it happen. Right, we'll, you know, we'll accommodate. I mean, they, we were just so happy you let us out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Park, park like, yeah, I was, over, over, lot. I was overly polite and whatever. And, yes. and then <clears throat> some guy walks by. He's not ordering anything, but he's like, he's shouting at me. He's like, hey, good job. It's a great idea, man. And he's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the, the E to a a why though and I'm like oh, what? what like what are you talking about man Changing he's like yeah yeah why? you know like Lydia Coffee and I'm like no what do you I don't I, and I'm like I'm confused he's like ah and he like took you know, like he goes off and votes and I'm like it's one of those a, moments where you're trying to like <clears throat> trying to decode like what they're saying yeah and I'm like okay this like is, maybe I heard something maybe he said something and like I'm supposed to get it but I can't decode it and it's in the show yeah like, and at this like, point like I'm like okay what's going on with this flag like this is like the third person to talk to me about my flag didn't you like I'm people like, like walk by like give you weird looks yeah it was just I just had weird vibes you know and I texted you guys that I was like I got weird vibes going on today and I had like considered taking down the sign and finally some lady like comes up and she's like telling me that there is someone running for office named Lydia Coffee. 
<laughs> and, and, I th- and like, <clears throat> and it's spelled C O F F E Y. And I'm like, I have no idea who this is. I mean, this is a nobody that's like a write in. She's not even on the ballot, I guess. Like, <laughs> but I guess it was a big deal because, like, they were trying to teach people how to write it. I don't know. Oh, my God. So Casey's texted us now, like, oh, my God, there's somebody in this area running for a position. And they think we're supporting her by having our coffee truck outside the voting poll. Because her, her ad on the radio was like, hey, bring coffee to Kentucky. Yes. And everybody loves coffee. And we didn't know any of this. And we had, and we were already out there. And we had talked about like giving a discount for people with I voted stickers. And we were like, no, we don't want to seem like we're selling votes or you know anything. <laughs> so now people think we're there supporting some candidate like parked on voting property, which is super illegal. You can't like <laughs> you can't do that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is. And then finally the pastor comes out, the guy who said we could park there, and he's like. Dude, I you got we gotta ask you to leave, and I'm like, oh, and he's like, yes, because people think that yeah. we're supporting a candidate, and people are mad, and I'm like, and like apparently some like high up person in the GOP, I don't I don't know, I don't remember what he said, but it was like somebody called him was like, yeah, you got up there, you can't do that, like people are just <laughs> losing their mind over this political thing. I'm like, so I just, I'm like, okay, I'm going to pack it. I'm packing up. Freaking the hell out. Like, crap, this is going to burn the business down. This is going to ruin our name. Yep. This is like. I mean, that was that was my initial thought. Yeah. Right, and then right. I was like, okay, no, no, no. They say all press is good press. I mean, the worst thing that could happen is somebody might write an article about us or say our name. And now more people know about us, right? <laughs> I hope. Oh, God, please, I hope. <laughs> just tell me yes. Just tell me yes. So then I tear everything down. <clears throat> and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go vote now, you know, because I haven't voted yet. Right. So I go back, go to my voting poll station, and look at the the, the, the ballot, and it says Democrat or Republican. A straight, you can vote as a straight ballot, yeah. right? You can and, check one of these boxes and, and vote of the, all of those, one of those parties. And the, de- the Republican box was a, a, picture. a, a picture of a house, like right. a, uh, a wood house. And the... The Democratic... <laughs> no, I did it too. The Democrat was a picture of a rooster. So I'm like... Lo- ah, I'm like losing my mind. I'm like, oh my gosh. People think we're like... Uh, totally supporting conspiracy. This, this Democrat... Illuminati exists and we are a part of it. Like and trying to like yes. persuade people I built subconsciously. A, I built a whole business based <laughs> off of this one like candidate. For those who don't know, our company is called the rooster's whistle and we have a giant rooster on our as our logo and here's a rooster freaking on the ballot for the democratic party and it, i mean it just which where does it, that, it where does that, where does that, does that even come from i, I thought no they were idea. donkeys and i thought so too I, it was oh my gosh what a day utter panic moment and just now we can look back and laugh at ourselves and we our life lesson from this is don't ever do what, Casey? Don't touch politics. <laughs> Stay <laughs> away from bowling polls. I'm not gonna... Don't do anything with any sort of pol- politician. This went so sideways. We were just trying to get out there to sell a $3 coffee. And right? just the feathers that we ruffled were just just ridiculous. I mean, it's been two weeks now and nothing bad. Like, we haven't heard anything no, about it. You know? She didn't win. She didn't win. You were curious. Oh my gosh, I was freaking out. I was like, if this lady wins, she's going to write us a letter. She goes, well, thanks for reminding everyone to vote for me. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't even know who you are. Right. Who? Yeah. So, uh, yes, fun. Now looking back, sheer funny. But, yeah, um, just, just, oh gosh. So we're just like thinking like, what happens? What do you do if she wins? Like, do you say something? Do we still make this podcast? Do we still like talk about it, or do we try I mean, to like keep it so off the radar that we hope nothing ever comes up again? Because this voting poll, although it's not in our hometown, you know, it's our neighboring hometown city, yeah. right? Like, so what now, do you do now? Are people like from that voting district like gonna I roll by us. and see us selling coffee? And be like, hey, those guys were promoting that right. coffee, yeah, which a coffee put politician. Just, yeah, yeah. I don't. Gosh. Nothing's come up yet. You know, it's been two or three weeks uh, since then, right? You've been yeah. you've been parked outside. Uh, yeah, not, nobody said anything. No. I haven't seen anything. It's... I imagine here in the next, I don't know, maybe a year or two years, I might have somebody walk in and goes, hey, I saw you at the poll- voting polls. They might oh bring it up. God, I'll, I'll laugh so, at that. <laughs> yeah. 
that would be a fun moment. You get to tell them this whole story about how yeah. you had, we had no idea they were the coffee candidate. Yeah, just, just what are the odds? <laughs> Holy crap! Yep. Just but lessons learned. We can look forward now to the future, and we can put this in our lessons learned and be like, hey, yep, don't touch that. Yeah. People are going to lose their mind, whether or not you had good intentions. Right. You know, Get people just, to go out and vote, but don't use your business to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, try. so so legally, businesses can have a political like side. Yeah. Like, legally, that's that's a thing. Like, sure. I I'm just going to avoid it though. I mean, I don't. I don't so I, I have tattoos and my tattoo artist mm-hmm. has Instagram he uses social media and I just I follow I, I look at his stuff because he's got good art and just recently he had a disagreement with a t-shirt company that was making t-shirts for him and then like didn't refund him his money or something so he just blasted his social media and asked all of his followers to go blast them and be like, give me his money back. And he just calls this huge ruckus. And it was, it was embarrassing to me because I'm oh, like, wow. oh my gosh, dude, why are you using the, your like social media platform? Like that's your professional, right. like that's how you show your art, right? right? That's what's going to get people to follow you. And, right. so, and now you're using it to like get your money back on these t-shirts or whatever, which I get the, the company should have obviously The principle given us, of the situation. Right. right? So now I don't ever want to be like, Oh, hey, let me push my political views or let me let me let me use my social media following that have followed me because they care about coffee, right? Right, right. I don't want to be like, oh hey, this guy was a jerk to me, so everybody go, you know, right. be a jerk back to him, you know. Right, all this negative stuff. Yeah. The criticisms and, and, and just like being after people for things. It's, I remember Zig Ziglar once saying uh, something along the lines of if you guys don't know Zig Ziglar, go look him up. He's like the a world renowned speaker for marketing. And Zig said that if you start throwing dirt, not, you know, whether you hit the target or not, your hands are still dirty and you've lost the ground underneath you. So it's just not worth it. Yep. It's just, just stay out of it. Yep. Um, <laughs> and uh, I don't know. But because, uh, so, like, the other thing that drives me crazy is like, so like Patagonia, right? They're a huge yeah. company. They're brilliant. They've got great marketing. Um, but I, they, they also support, like, saving the wildlife and everything, which, yeah, I'm obviously for that because I love nature. I like hiking and stuff. But it drives me bonker because there's this huge corporation, and I feel like they're anti-corporate, like, stuff, you know? Like, yeah. they kind of push their anti-corporate <coughs> ideas or whatever, but they're a huge corporation. And it drives me bonkers because they, like, use... Like recovered down, you know, they, they right. recycle down. And I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. They're recycling down. They're not taking fresh down off of, you know, birds or whatever. Like, that's a great idea. Um, it uh, It's going to save them money and save the customer money, right? Uh-huh. No, they still put a $500 price tag on their jackets and it drives me bonkers. Like, why not actually try to help your customers? I Yeah, I, I guess they're, you know, there's this capitalist nation, right? So, I, don't know. I know you're saying the, the principle of that too, yeah. right? It's just that yeah. it's all surrounding like, what are your principles? What are your values? And then, it, and then the, the, the things with going throwing dirt is they like, right. they get, you know, they they get they're like, oh, like, we can't let them take these national forests or whatever, you know. And it, it looks like they're throwing dirt, and I'm like, oh, right. I don't want to see this. Like, this isn't happy. Like, I get these bad things are like happening, but sometimes I feel like they're throwing dirt, you know? Like, right. And so then, I don't ever I think, want to do that. Yeah, so definitely stay away from that, and we are never going to do that again. But yeah, okay. So stay out, stay out <laughs> of political things. <laughs> right. Hope you enjoyed our story. I'm not, I'm not going to push my agenda with you know my my coffee truck. You know, and, and you shouldn't. Yeah, and nobody should. I'm just going to try and serve up good coffee and make people happy that happy, way yeah. you know that's what it should be around is creating a better humanity by just making some laughter yeah. and some coffee so and like I mean that's the whole goal with this truck right like yeah. these huge like I think like so we'll say McDonald's right to open a McDonald's chain you have to have like I think it's like a, a million dollars in reserve or something just to you, like that's not even money spent that's money you have to have sitting back yes. like not touched like at least that's yeah. ridiculous like I, I right. know it doesn't cost that much to start a coffee truck right it doesn't you know? yeah, you're absolutely right and so 
go ahead. I think it's yeah, about our, our costs that we're trying to do for our. We're trying to think about our customers. Right. I want to. I want to make right. this like, like, hey, you want to own your own business, right? Because you're already like, you know, neck deep in student loan, right? And so, I want to make sure people understand. Like, I guess the customers a moment ago. I don't mean just customers, people buying coffee from us. I mean the customers who are looking to franchise from us. Yeah. So that's one of our outlooks is is like make growing it, our franchises. Make it right. affordable, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, too many like, companies nowadays are absolutely ruining. It's greed. Uh, it's absolute greed. You absolutely, but like I said before, it's a capitalistic nation. Like you're yeah. allowed to do that. Like they could Patagonia can do that trick with now, hey, we got recycled downs, but we're going to jack up the price. Right. And, and it's I, losing a lot of people. And I believe in free market. Right. I do. I absolutely believe in free market. It allows us to do this and make this. But I think that we're on, on a, a, ver, a tipping scale where everybody's getting so greedy. That people are finding out about, like you and me, they're like, "That's everybody's being greedy." Like, let's make something right. Let's right. make a good product right. and sell it at an affordable price. You so, know? where's how do you balance? How do you balance? Because obviously, everybody getting into business is looking to make a profit. Right. Right. That's you got to make some. Got to do it. Right. Right. And so, where you know, if you were to draw, I guess, a graph, and on the x-axis, right, the one at the bottom, you put, <clears> let's say. Um, We'll put down there. We'll put profit down there at the bottom. So money, yep. dollar amounts, right? Starting at zero dollars, going to infinity dollars. Okay. okay. And on the vertical axis, you have, you have then. I guess it's going to be. I don't know what we put on that one. I guess I'd put. Because I'm really looking for a balance of like, let's, let's do something that ha- is low enough entry, that we'll have many interested, and that's not break of the bank. Yeah. But not so low that we're not gaining. That we a can profit, survive, right? We right? want to. We, we want to. We need we to make have money, a profit. Right? We want to, to, this to be beneficial to us and also to I don't know if I our don't subordinates that. down the road. So, I guess, really, is is what is that? I guess it's not so much X and Y graph. It's more like X axis. Like where do we put this this tally on the X axis? Like what's the right amount of and, like what? Like and how, how to quantify that? Because uh, dude, I don't know. Like, but like, if you watch some of my like YouTube videos, right? The one we did was like not about the profit. Me personally, I don't. I want to make enough money to fund what the things I want to do and support myself, and support right. my family, right? Right. Like the whole. I mean, the whole goal is to make some money, right? Right. But it's also to free up my time and yeah, and so I can have time to to do the things I want to do. Yeah. So. I, I don't know if you can quantify that, but because I just need enough money to survive and do the things I want to do, right? Which I mean, so, I live cheaply, but you do, and you're so, you, so Casey's a minimalist, folks. I don't, uh, I don't claim any title, but <laughs> why don't you talk about minimalism for a I second? I just, I don't have a lot of stuff, and I think that if you rid yourself a lot I think that's of a subjective. lot of stuff I think that's subjective Why can you give us a little bit more like insight physical stuff like like a couch or a TV or so people are like where does he house. live in how does he a live a house <laughs> right so you know I don't know if this is true for Casey but Casey probably has 10 shirts 10 jeans 10 underwears 10 socks one yeah. plate one fork one spoon one knife yeah uh, one microwave one stove yeah uh, you know, he lives out of a essentially a, a, a tiny house on wheels. Yeah, it's uh, a it's a like a camper van conversion RV. Right. So he's so you know for you to survive, it would cost little to nothing. But right. for most people, like you know me and Sarah, right? Like you know, our, we got a mortgage. Our, our, and yeah, yeah, we got a mortgage and. Uh, we got kids too, and, and so our well, sort of well, survival okay. amount is going to be going to be higher. Yeah, I mean, the coffee truck is obviously proven to be like a resource in that area. Like, like right. we could have paid your mortgage off, mortgage off for the month with tonight with tonight's like, event. Tonight's yeah. event, like yeah, one event. Right. I mean, all the profits from that. There's your mortgage. Like that's one night. Right. That would have covered my mortgage and insurance on that mortgage. And what? It's a Saturday night. Like yeah. You know, a ten hour work day. We hung out you hung out with the family anyway. They were already they were all there. Yeah, so I got to hang out the kids so. and, and we got to eat fried pie. <laughs> yeah, fried pie. And, uh, Made some good connections. Uh, good got time. to got to uh, uh, make turkeys on yeah. and, and fly hipper airplanes, so it wasn't like time lost from family either. I got to hang out with them and spend time with the kids and stuff, so we had fun. But trying to find that balance of 
profit and, and greed. Where is that line start to go? Like, okay, that's you're taking a little bit too much than what you should, and that's just yeah. freaking greedy. Um, yeah, trying to find that's gonna be hard. Yeah, well, so like, well, Sarah and I had that conversation today because it was, we, you know, we had a new drink we released. Yeah. Um, we we put candy on the top, you know, so that obviously adds to the price, right? Um, and she wanted to add a little bit more, and I was like, man, I don't feel that's a, feels like really expensive coffee. I don't think I would pay for that, right? You know, and then we ended up talking about it, and we kind of settled in the middle, you know, um, right? Yep, that's right. You guys did. <clears throat> so, so I guess just to kind of maybe create a conscious mind of like profit and greed, maybe it yeah. takes maybe multiple types of personalities to kind of collectively come to it. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't, because, because I, I think you and Sarah are pretty different. We're very different. Um, so maybe that's the key. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's like a algorithm out there <laughs> we need to look up. <laughs> like where uh, greed starts. To, like, right. Where greed starts. You know, they say like, um, happiness does not grow after you're making 80000 a year. Right. So, okay. What do we do with that number? So like, do we try to maybe max out our franchisee to make 80 grand a year like I don't or maybe the company I don't I don't know how to dance well, with this my, my thought is you know if, if we sell a, tr- a coffee truck to a franchisee somebody who's interested um, you know they're now an owner right that's right. their truck right if they want to make a hundred thousand dollars a year good for them right you know I'm not I, I'm, a- so, I'm asking yeah, I point. we're taking a flat rate we're not taking a percentage right good point so we're because I think that's right. greedy so right yeah, because I think you and I have been through. Maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe it's, I'm not sure. It's just our generation. Maybe it's other generations uh, behind us. You know, that are older than us. Yeah. But it just feels like there's so many ways to be nickel and dime. Right. On things. Uh, uh, and, and it's just you go in with these. Maybe you've had your eyes on something for a long time. You saved up enough money for it. You go in, you buy it. And then you get it, and they're like, "Oh, you need to have this other thing to go with it to make yep. it work." And then you got to have all, you got to have a certain cable to make yep. it work too. And it's like, or yeah, like, a, like, like an my airplane, fun. like an airplane ticket. That's why I like Southwest. Right? You buy the airline oh, ticket, yeah. and your bags are free. Like, right. My voice. I'm losing my voice yeah. here. It's, <laughs> it's sound like I'm going through puberty. <laughs> but like, you know, like that's why I fly Southwest because they're not right. like, oh, well, you have a bag. Well, I'm going to church. And it's that. not. And it's those. And those. That, that kind of nickel and dime is like an absorbent price in my eyes. Right. Right? Because you'll spend three, four, hopefully not $500, but sometimes $500 on an airline ticket. And then you yep. get to check in your bag and they want to charge you an extra 80 bucks. Because, yep. well, anyway. What the hell? That's, well, you know, beer in like a festival or something, you know, like right. why is a Bud Light $5? Like that's a 200% profit, I feel right. like, or something like. Right. It costs you like right. two cents to make Like that. I'm okay with like people making money off of me, but don't be an ass about yeah, it. Like this yeah. is like above me. And, like now you're just taking the knife and just stabbing right. it in my back and just tearing it out. Like, yep. this, like I'm okay with you making money, but this is stupid. So Don't be greedy. Like <laughs> So we're trying to find that zone. Happy medium. The happy where, medium where, where we like, can survive. We want and, people to get involved and grow and to create their own and to own their own and you know, let's make a big family out of this because we believe that a, a rising tide raises all boats. And yeah. so trying to find that happiness, it's not going to be easy. There's going to be a lot of growing pains. I know there is. There, I mean, there already is. We have already experienced it. You're right. Like, coffee, running for <laughs> whatever. Running for coffee, running for, yeah. Gosh. I don't know what position she's even running for. I don't but, even know. And I don't, we don't know anything about her. So we're not talking poorly on her. I hope everybody understands that. Uh, it's just, oh, what a situation that brought upon us. Um, maybe brought upon her too. I'm, I wonder what her perspective. I, her, and the, I wonder if she ever heard of us I coming around know. and doing I mean, that. It's it's funny to look back right, right now. <laughs> oh boy! Well, folks, I uh, hope you enjoyed this podcast, and uh, everybody have a great night, a very awesome Thanksgiving, and we'll be in touch. Yeah. Adios. Peace.